What's up you guys, this is Godson and we're back doing another Clan Wars video. And this time you guys, I want to just go ahead and show you a full clan battle and talk to you about War Aftermath. Now in a previous video, I went over the clan castle level 6 and loot, so let me just reiterate everything so that you get a better understanding. After you've had 24 hours to prepare your base and get ready for war, you guys will be paired up with a similar clan that is near your strength level. Now I saw in one of the comments someone asked how come they don't just have troops versus troops rather than clan versus clan where it's just a regular battle. Actually I want to go over that but in a later video while I'm doing the Q&A and possibly talk about the future of clan wars. But for right now you guys it's set up for clan versus clan in a traditional raid style. But back to the topic on hand, let's talk about things you can expect while you're actually fighting and what happens after the war is over. Now in case I didn't mention this, all of your troops, your weapons, your traps, everything will be reset so you don't have to worry about filling them up and resetting everything if somebody else attacks you. Now Supercell actually released some official notes about Clan Wars that deal with the loot system. So let me go over them with you real quick. Now when you win, you're going to have something called bonus loot. It's just the same as when you raid someone, you get a bonus loot on top of what you earned from battle. And that's the way it works with Clan Wars. When you've won, you get a bonus loot, and it's actually pretty good. However, if you lose, your bonus loot will be very small. Another cool thing about after the war is over is they give you replays. And not like in your message box where you can find maybe five replays after you've attacked. You get a lot more replays to view because it's going into a war log and you will have access to this after the war is over. Now the one thing I'm not certain of is if you win a clan war against a rival clan, what are the odds of you actually meeting that clan again if you vouch for another war? I think Supercell gave out some numbers about what are the exact percentage of people that are in Champions League in uh, the whole game, and it's not a lot. So it'd be very interesting to see what kind of wars we'll have if uh, the people at the top are only fighting the same people over and over again. It'll be very interesting for us to find out. And also guys, something to remember is if you get a tie with another clan, then it'll be like you lost. Both of you guys lose. So the war bonus will be reduced also. Now in a future video, I want to talk more about uh, future changes to clan wars because as it is right now, when you won a clan against another clan, uh, you get something like a point that tells you you've won against another clan. Now this should actually be posted in your clan description and I don't think it'll be public for other people to see. It'll just be for your clan. But I think Supercell in the future may do something as a status boost so that you get more recognition for winning against other clans. Now two things I want to go over real quick you guys uh, that I've noticed in the game is when we've had a maintenance break in the past what would happen is uh, we would get a maintenance break and then we log on and some of us would be attacked right away Now I've asked Supercell about this like why can't we just get a maintenance break and then you give us you know maybe a three or four hour shield so that we don't have to log on you know after we've been booted off and come back to our base that's been attacked and Supercell actually said that the reason why we can't give people a a shield after a maintenance break is because then no one would be able to attack throughout the whole game so now what I do like is when they give us maintenance breaks uh, they give you a timer or a estimated time of when the maintenance will be over so I really like that and they did this in this uh, most recent maintenance break so that should help alleviate some of the worry if you're checking in and uh, keeping updated of when the maintenance is about to end and lastly, they did mention that the gym box will be returning this update. Uh, I'm not sure exactly why uh, they were unable to bring the gym box back from the previous update with the hero abilities. But they did mention they were able to fix it in this update. Now just some specifics about the gym box is they will be worth 25 gems. However, only one will spawn on your base. So if you have one gym box that's hanging out around your base and you're waiting around for another one, it won't happen because they've only allowed one gym box to appear at a time. So make sure you take out those gym boxes as fast as you can so that another one will be uh, possible to spawn on your base. And you guys, thank you for watching. I should do maybe one or two videos up after this, a Q&A and possibly future uh, things that will be coming to Clan Wars. Depending on your vote, 
and how the feedback is in the comments. So you guys, thank you for watching. This is Godson. I will see you next time. Godson out.